Hi, uh, this is William here. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk about SEO social media pros and cons. This a, so all internet marketers talk a lot about growing the top of the funnel by getting as much traffic as possible to your website. So how do you fill the top of your funnel so it's inundated? Time and again, SEO and social media take the marketing cake. However, for marketers with limited time and money, SEO and social media often become competing priorities. I mean, it's not like you necessarily have all the resources in the world to throw your weight behind SEO and social media. And one thing is for sure, it's better to do one thing very well than two things poorly. So what gets sacrificed, SEO or social media? If you only have the time to dedicate resources to one or the other, which is the bigger lever you can pull? Will SEO have a stronger impact on building the top of your marketing funnel, or is social media the place to spend your time for maximum results? This article will look more closely at social media. This will allow us to look at what SEO and social media are good for, where they fall short, and let you determine which tactic is right for you. <coughs> the pros of social media marketing. Since we just finished talking about the pros and cons of SEO, you might be interested to know that social media actually helps your organic search presence. Just like inbound links are great for your website, Google's web crawlers really like websites that have lots of inbound links. So social allocations of your content will lower your rank too. Understand the more people approve of your content, the more Google will want to return these results in the search. Investing in the social media strategy can actually improve SEO, your social media rankings. Guest blogging for inbound links lets you build a few good relationships, but social media lets you build hundreds of thousands. Maintaining an active social media presence lets you carry on prolonged, friendly conversation with your followers, and then when you do that, your social reach extends even more as your followers see your social media popping up in their feeds. When you're talking with people one-on-one -on -one like you do on social media, you can provide much more personalized service than other marketing channels struggle to match. If you're investing in social media, it's simple to scale your presence across more than one network because you can control the content you share from network to network, so you'll rewrite the copy you use in a tweet versus a Facebook update. You can still link to the same great offers, blog content, and visual content to grow your following across several networks without expanding your content creation resources. Social media allows you the opportunity to be extremely targeted. Once you've figured out this net, these, those networks would work best for you, for example, LinkedIn is an exceptional performer for B2B organization. Compared with Twitter, which only 40% of B2B organizations have acquired a customer, and Facebook, from which only 43% have acquired a customer, and you better prioritize how much time you spend on each network. On the other hand, Facebook drives the most conversions for B2C organizations, where 77% of companies have acquired a customer. It's followed by Twitter, where 55% of B2C organizations have acquired a customer, and trailed by LinkedIn, where 51% have acquired a customer. 65% of B2B organizations have acquired a customer on LinkedIn. Social media is powered by user-generated content. If you didn't already know, user-generated content is critical to driving sales for your organization. More than 80% of Gen Y, also known as the largest consumer group in history, is influenced by user-generated content when considering a purchase. 51% of them actually rated it more important than the op opinions of their friends and family. <coughs> when it comes to purchases like major electronics, cars, hotels, travel accommodations, credit cards, and insurance, many of them won't even make a purchase. Since we're talking about the resources needed to scale your social media, here's some of the cons. We should also consider it's useless if not backed by a strong content strategy. Remember, if you're creating blog content or other content such as videos, what exactly are you going to share on social media? You can tweet till the cows come home, but if there's no link to drive them back to your website, your social following doesn't do much for your business bottom line. And like we mentioned in the previous ar article, SEO pros and cons, content creation takes <coughs> dedication that most people don't typically have time to perform. For your social media presence to drive meaningful results for your business, it needs to grow, but growing a social media following doesn't happen overnight. It takes months upon years to build up a strong social following that will drive serious traffic to your website. However, it is possible to rapidly increase this, but again, it means abandoning the organic growth tactic and go for a paid promotion. And again, that costs money as well as time. 
If you did not have the finances before, it may not be the best use of your time and money. Unlike content and search engines, social media content expires quickly, so while you thought that tweet was linked to the best blog post ever written was crowning achievement, it will be buried in followers and tweet streams in minutes and within their Facebook RSS feeds within hours, and then you have to hope they saw it or read it. Social media updates can just be noise as it gets lost pretty quickly. Because those streams keep updating, you have to big vigilantly monitor your social media accounts every day. Yes, there are social media monitoring tools out there to make it more efficient, but the multitasking marketer can easily get overwhelmed trying to read and respond to all the content that comes through multiple social media. So which tactic do you use, SEO or social media marketing? If you're a small business, you can invest in hiring a social media manager to promote all the content you have created, grow your social following, monitor and engage with your various social networks. Or you can move these resources to a technical SEO expert since you're already turning out great content that's helping your red site move up in the SERPs. Then magnify that effort with technical SEO can, who can assure that your website is operated in such a way that Google's crawlers can actually read and index every bit of content without punishing your site for mistakes you were unaware that you were making. So that concludes the presentation of SEO social media pros and cons video, and this is William, and we'll see you the next time.